Hey guys, Didact here and welcome to a tutorial video. I've had a bunch of people ask me how I make my thumbnails. Some people say they're amazing and I, you know, it's pretty easy to make. So I'm going to show, instead of going through everything, I'm just going to show you how I made my stranded deep one. As you can see on the right side, there's a lot of components. Now you do need Adobe Photoshop to make this. If you don't have this, I'm, I can't help you. Uh, but I will show you how I got everything, Tom Hanks, Wilson, Stranded Deep title, everything here, and uh, the cool shading on, the, I guess, those are not my words, that's a quote. So I'll show you how to make everything. This is what we're going for, but this is, um, uh, there are four main pieces here. We have the Tom Hanks, Wilson, Ball, Stranded Deep, and of course the background, and here I'm going to show you exactly how I make it. So. When I, I'm just going to follow steps I did when I first made uh, it. So if you go, if you have Adobe Photoshop, you want to go to this tool over here. I'm not sure. It's not coming up. Okay, it's called the Quick Selection Tool. And this allows you to crop photos, uh, just take parts of photos out. So I'm going to move it to a little bigger size. And like that, going to have plus. Plus allows you to, to add crop. And I'm going to scroll over Tom Hanks here. And as you can see, it borders around whatever you want to crop out. Uh, it's not going to be perfect because he does have a lot of hair, so it, the, uh, there's going to be some background, unfortunately, left, but not much we can do about that. And you want to kind of just feather it in, try to get as much of the hair as possible. And then when you, when you think you're done, you want to go to Refine Edge, and then this will allow you to get a good look at what it looks like if you, uh, if you crop it out. Uh, this is looking pretty good, so you want to go to Output 2 and the New Document. And hit OK. And then you can go back to the original one and quit out because now you have this one cropped and uh, a uh, transparent background. Next, the Wilson ball. Go to plus. Make sure you're on plus. If you go to minus like this, it'll uh, it'll just take out. Actually, you can do it either way, actually, apparently. But I like to use plus because it's easier to remember. Um, so you want to go over the ball. And uh, with things like this, you, you want to definitely look at the image before you crop it out because sometimes there might be little pieces missing. Uh, like um, sometimes the uh, Adobe is it's really good at, at finding edges so sometimes uh, like the like the nose part will be taken out or not be cropped out correctly so you want to make sure that's good you want to crop in as much as you can refine edge that looks okay the bottom it's never gonna be perfect new document okay quit out of this main one and then finally you want to get the strand deep one this one is more difficult words are more difficult to do than objects um, so you want to click, oh, but the it is somewhat easier because a lot of the times it'll just do the entire word like it's happening right here. But then sometimes it'll see that time it got fucked up because now it has the blue in the background. You want to go on like that. You don't want to hold it down. You want with words you can just click once and it'll usually get the entire words. You can see it's getting all these words, but with with um, letters like R A. It'll, it won't crop the middle, so you want to go with plus, really small, and get the middle, the D, right there. And you can always go to Redefine Edge, and that's looking good. I know you really can't see Stranded Deep. That's just because it's a white background to begin with. That looks pretty good. Looks like the N is a little bit... Now the N's there. Okay, so Redefine Edge, Output, New Document. And okay, and you can go back to the first document, wherever it is, here, and quit out. Uh, nah, actually, let's cancel that. Uh, so when you want to actually move the, all your documents into your main background, what you want to do is you want to get the, uh, the the first tool, which is just a move tool. You want to grab your Tom Hanks, move it over, and drop them. Whatever. Now, as you can see, he's not that he's not big enough. It's not it's not it's not like this one where he's you can really see him. It's not big enough. So you want to delete him. And uh, what you want to do is when you're when you're on the image, you want to go up to um, image image size, and you want to go to resolution. And uh, just for all intents and purposes, let's go to three hundred. Don't do height and weight. I mean width and height. Just do resolution because that'll just change the size. And then you can drag him back over to the image. And there you go. This one's a little bit too big. Let's do it down a little bit more. Let's do 250. Put them back. 
and there we go that's that's pretty close to what I actually had okay so now that we have that let us grab the Wilson ball see if we have to make this bigger or smaller probably a little bit bigger it's a little bit bigger let's do edit image let's do 125 just uh, I'm just ball I'm just guessing at these that's a little too big I was gonna do 150 actually so edit image let's do a flat 100 that'll probably be good enough put it in there we go that's let's check the original yep that's pretty close it's not gonna be I'm not, I'm not gonna make it exactly the same because uh, I'm showing you how to do it so you can do it for yourself so now that we have the stranded deep we're gonna drag it over see we're gonna compare the size so you can see it's pretty small to make it bigger image size let's do 150 about double the size ish a little bit more let's try 200 it's just a uh, you're just eye you're just eyeballing it trying to guess about the size stranded deep there you go that's perfect now if you're wondering how I have the shading behind it and stuff like that it's really simple um, you could even do shading for Tom Hanks or Wilson but there's no point so if you want to do shading behind stranded deep what you gotta do is you gotta hit your layer which is uh th this is th this layer you want to right click go to blending options and then when you go down to the bottom it says drop shadow click it click check mark and then click it actually and i have there you have four options for opacity distance spread and size i have my four numbers that i use every time and that is i'll show you my numbers it's 83 and then for opacity distance is 17 spread is 52 and size is 29 and then uh, for this word it's a little bit bigger so you want to go down a little bit more in fact let me just let me check what I had actually for this one because this one I had I had a special one made for this one let's go blending options it's at 111.05 let's do that 111.05 Zero, five. Okay, so that's how I got the stranded deep. Now, uh, for text, as you can see, the text has a, a good amount of bold. It's an, an, the number of the episode, and also in Wilson we trust because we all always trust Wilson. As you can see here and there. Let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to put in number, just say 10 to match. Grab it, put it over there-ish, and then... Uh, those four numbers that I gave you are for any text that I do. So let's do it. Let's do uh, 83, 17, 52, and 29. There you go. And that, that gives it a nice bold uh, so that it's easily uh, easily seen. Let's put Wilson a little bit over here. And then let us do in Wilson we trust. Put a little size down to 150 because it's not going to be as bold. In Wilson, we trust. A little too big. Let's go down to 100. Actually, I just typed 100. In Wilson, we trust. Okay. There we go. Let's put it about here. This is a little small, but it's it'll do fine. Capitalized. Okay, let's put the blending options on. Same as I always do this amount of uh, blending for all my text for the most part. Um, this was different. The title was different because it's not text. That has different ratios. But yeah, so that is that is how I made my uh, thumbnail. As you can see, I'll move it over there. As you can see, a little bit of a difference. Uh, just stuff moved over. But as you can see, pretty much the same. Title's a little bit bigger. But uh, I, hopefully this was helpful to you guys. Hopefully people who asked how to make this. Uh, if you guys want to see more tutorials, this is kind of an overview. This is just trying to show as much as I can a little in the shortest amount of time. Trying to make trying to make this thumbnail. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you, I'll see you guys um, if you want another tutorial. I'll see you on that video. Thanks for watching.